Hey guys, it's a Toby here. Um, this is my first video. Wow. <laughs> so, welcome to just a little chill video of me perhaps rambling about this drawing and um, showing you through my sketch process and line art process. Unfortunately, I didn't record the coloring process, but next time I'll do a full video perhaps. But this is just a D&D commission that I've done of, I think it was an elven necromancer, I'm pretty sure. The character was like bright and sunny, but the clothes were like dark and mysterious. So definitely like very a Toby type thing. <laughs> um, because like, I just love things that are creepy, but also very cute. So the contrasts are some of my favorite things to draw. As you can see, fiddling around with the leg. Also, fair warning, there's a lot of canvas twisting in this video, so I'm sorry if that is super annoying to anyone. I didn't realize how it would look on video, so I'll try to do less twisting when I record another video. It's just very, it's much easier for me to get certain strokes down if I've twisted the canvas to get certain lines and things like that. Um, let me know if it's a big bother. If it isn't, perhaps I'll keep it this way. <laughs> First video insecurities, here we are. Um, so as you can see, I've already done a base sketch and now I'm busy just like fixing up details and like shapes and direction because I like to work with a lot of silhouettes. So like the outside shape is more important to me than the details in the beginning. If I have a good like outside shape, a good silhouette, shadow then all the details on the inside will just bring it together so you can see i've like painted on the pouch and now i'm busy working on like clothing details and shapes and movement what sort of drapery we've got going on here <laughs> and you can see working with clothing folds shadow which which foot is going which direction how is the hip twisting um, and also adding just little quirky interesting details like glass bottles with little straps on them. Um, when I'm drawing like a D&D character or an adventure or something like that, I, I tend to like to draw um, their bags and some of their equipment on them because it just seems to make the most sense storytelling wise. Um, I know if I was on the move the whole time, I, I would definitely have like some sort of moon bag pouch backpack affair with me on all times because you know you you've got your whole life in like one bag moving from city to city very difficult so you can see i'm busy just like sketching out the background figuring out what i want to do with it because i had an idea that i wanted him walking down steps or some sort of garden since it was mentioned that um, it should be in like a city type environment so that's sort of what I went with and as you can see I'm working on their stuff and cool skull details and things like that and here we are on the line art I think I jumped a bit um I like to have a darker background sometimes because the white can hurt your eyes after quite a while so like the darker background when I'm doing light art, line art also helps the sketch layer fade a bit into the background a bit more so so that I can see what my line art is looking like without having to like remove the sketch layer and double check though I do do that sometimes and the line art pen that I'm using here is one that I made myself because I don't like changing pen sizes so it has a very huge pressure variance um, because it just takes a lot of time, especially because this is all done on my iPad. Um, I don't draw on a Wacom or anything anymore. It's just all drawn on my iPad. 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 <laughs> iPad. So, um, all of it's done on the iPad, and I, the, it's very difficult to change brush sizes without like a keyboard and such. So I just had to make my own brush with a very big pressure difference, so I could do small details and big thick lines without too much hassle if you guys are interested in the brush it's full clip studio paint um, i will upload it if people request it no problem showing my brushes <laughs> literally only made one so it's fine 
Um, as you can see, just working out the details now, doing the line art, um, adding in all the little things that weren't on the sketch layer. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I can have a lot of sketch layers, like so many. <laughs> um, yeah, you just sit there and you're like sketching and sketching, trying to just get the shape right. And then after like five layers, you're like, okay, let me just commit to line art. So it does happen to me sometimes. On this one, there were only two sketch layers, which I was very lucky for. <laughs> I think I had a very clear direction when I was busy drawing this, but sometimes it's, it's a struggle. So you can see I'm just busy adding dimension to the buckles. And when I draw, I definitely have like Pinterest open with tons of references, buckles, bottles, leather armor. Um, I reference pretty much everything when I'm busy drawing. It takes a bit of time extra, especially some things I haven't drawn a lot. So I have to reference them because I just don't know them off the back of my hand. I think that's how the saying goes in English. <laughs> so you see I'm just working on the nitty gritty details. All the little things. I like to sometimes draw very thick areas and then erase them out because uh, I struggle with drawing super fine lines. I think that's also due to the pen that I use, but certain certain shapes are more difficult to deal with. Um, like belt buckles, like I prefer to hollow it out with an eraser a lot of times. And so on. As you can see, just this little, little bottle stuff, cute little bubbles. Yeah, I really enjoyed doing this character and um, if you want me to draw your character, I have my commissions open on Fiverr. Feel free to message me. Um, there's really no limits. I, I recently drew a centaur and a, a bird character, so don't, don't be afraid if you feel your character is outlandish uh, or a bit, a bit out of the norm because I really, really enjoy designing characters and drawing characters. So. Feel free to send me a message about that. And you can see here we're busy with this, this little bandages and the cute little crease details. I love sometimes just drawing little spots. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot, hey? <laughs> uh, just like the cute little crease details and sometimes just making little spots where I think dirt or just little fabric indentations have happened. As you can see, I'm also trying to create some depth here um, by adding like some darker lines and details. You can especially see it on the claws here, where like some parts lines are much thinner and some parts are much thicker, to just add some depth and variance. This is a very long balls. What happened here? I'm doing the voiceover after I've edited the video. <laughs> so this is all very new to me. And I know a lot of times when people draw skulls, yes, you can draw skulls like super accurately. And I did reference an actual skull for this, but I just wanted to give it some character. So I just gave it like whatever teeth and I changed the eye shape a little bit. And you know, it became its own things, which I really enjoyed. And as you can see, busy with the branch, giving it some texture. And now we just go in and we're fixing up the line arts. As you can see, adding thickness. A lot of times I'll zoom out here to like get an overall picture of where like the lines need to like pop to give dimension. I'm still learning, of course, like just trying to make my line art more interesting because I really, I really enjoy line art so much. Like different thicknesses, brush textures, line weight. It's, it's all that's that's definitely my favorite part of drawing is doing line art coloring not so much as you can see I've like if you know my work I was better say as you can see but if you know my work you'll you'll know that my coloring style is rather simplified because I don't enjoy spending forever on coloring so you know you make compromises you you make the you make it work for you but line art I could spend the whole day on so sometimes you gotta stop yourself. But as I said, here's the progress for the video. 
Thank you for watching and please let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this and uh, if rambling was alright. <laughs>